Hello guys, it's me, Matrix here, coach of the Welsh Waylords, bringing you week 10 of the UGA Season 2 Draft League. And I'm up against Dark Lord Sabadell and his Dark Lords Greninjas. This is a match for me for the top seed or third. And for the Sabadell, I think I think he's just outside he doesn't even if he wins, I don't think he can make playoffs. Um, yeah, I could go over the team a bit, but honestly, let's just roll with it. Um, hmm. Let's bring the down a bit. What are my thoughts? Well, I don't know. Let's see what he has up his sleeve. Incineroar, Jolteon, Toxicroak, Grimmsnarl, Celesteela, Suicune. Pretty much what I expected. Now, whether that means I can win or not is a different story. So, I kind of want to lead a surprise lead against him with a Pikachu and a Moltres. Because it's not something he will expect straight away. I don't think he'll go for Max Celesteela off the bat. But it's pretty well protected there. I'll bring Dramper in the back. Hmm. Trying to figure out what I do from here. Um. I can bring a Remitis. As a trick room, late game trick room setter. Got Thunderbolt and Moonblast, which is okay against that, okay against that, okay against that, okay against that, okay against that. Okay against that. It's got Heal Pulse as well, which could be really clutch. So, let's bring a Remedies. Let's leave Metagross and me and Shell. Okay. Here we go, Pikachu's big debut. Good luck, Samadel. Oh dear. Okay, so we got Suicune and Grim Snow. Right, so here he's going to get a Tailwind off with the Suicune because I can't prevent that. However, he also can't prevent what I'm doing unless he goes for a Fake Out onto the Pikachu. So let's Fake Out the Grimace now. And I'm not going to max straight away. Or I probably should just to get that um, speed boost. Um, but let's go for a Protect. Let's get some air slash damage. Okay, so we withdraw Suicune. Incineroar comes out. Mm, this Pikachu is going to be a bit annoying actually. Expect the Cinero to go for a fake out here, but and a light screen from the Grim Snarl.
Okay, so he doesn't go for a fake out. Good to know. Good damage into the Moltres. Woo. Big damage, but it's fine. So I should get the KO here. And I bring Dramper in. Because I should KO the Incineroar. So I can get a special defense boost on Dramper. Ah, Shuckerberry. That's fine. Good knowledge now. Means he can't recover here. With any health. Darkest Lariat. Mult just tanks it. And from here we go for a Hyper Voice and a Max Airstream into the Grim Snarl. Just in case. Let's get the speed boosted up onto Dramper. So he sets light screen up. That's fine. Max airstream should still pick up the KO with an air slash basically did half, yep. And then a single target hyper voice should do a decent amount of damage to this incineral. Yep, gets a double KO. Now Celesteela comes in from the back, but so does Suicune, I just imagine. Mm-hmm. Now this isn't the best position to be in because he might go for a um, max guard, which could be really annoying. Um, I don't think Moltres will live a attack. But at least I move first, so I'm going to go for a max quake into the Suicune at least and get Dramper bulky. Suicune could very much, well, max here. Go for max geysers. So maybe a max flare into the Celestia was the play. But at least Pikachu here from the back. Oh no, it is Celestia maxing. At least Pikachu does some sort of damage in the back. I've got electric moves on all of my arms. If the Celestia does go, doesn't go for a max guard, at least it's going to get minus one in its special attack from Snarl hitting. We max Quake into the Suicune. Ooh, big damage, but not enough to KO. Ooh, crit. That's pretty good, actually, because if this now hits, I think that's a dead Suicune. Yep. Lowers the special attack of Celesteela. Moltres is plus two. Celesteela is plus one. It is minus one. Max Rockfall here. KO's Moltres. My job here is to save Pikachu, I think, for as long as I can. Because Pikachu should be doing about 50% damage to this thing. Um, but I could set a light screen up. But then I could fake out when I come in. Hmm.
being very careful of a weakness bolt CV in here. Kind of wish I'd gone for the max flare there. I expect a, a max card though, so at least let my Moltres go down into. Ooh, but if he didn't have max guard, maybe he is assault vested. We'll see. Max Quake into the Pikachu. This should actually kill. Yeah. Now it's plus one in special defense, and it's just getting its special attack boosted back each time. <sighs> I need to waste this max out, but. I'm gonna go for a Thunderbolt. I'm gonna heal Pulse to the Dramper, maybe. Just so that it gets back up. I know I haven't activated Berserk on it yet, but. Oh, it's Physical Cellar Stealer. If it's using Max Quake. No wonder the special attack drops aren't doing anything. Damn. Assault Vest. Oh, this can just... Yeah, I missed the attack drops. Damn. Damn. Wasn't paying attention. I should have gone straight for that Celestia the moment it came out into the field. Yeah, the attack grows. That was completely on me. I'm just not... My head's just not in, the, in this game. Making stupid mistakes, throwing the game. I don't want to reveal too much, to be honest. So let's just... Trick room. Yeah, it flinched. Which is fine. Fully expect that to flinch there. That's fine. I kind of threw that to be honest. I can't believe I missed the attack raise on Cell Steeler. I had a good opening, but he, he the surprise is ruined now. He knows that what it is on it. Why? Why did I do that? <sighs> so okay, so the cell sealer is a salt vest. It's gotta be because if I use thunderbolt, I don't, I don't remember seeing weakness policy come off on it. So. Um, Let's go Mega Gross Me and Shell. Um, Drump is not bad in the back. Don't know how much I like a Room Tease here. Maybe being a Salt Vest. Moltres might be better. Pikachu, even. Can do Pikachu things. But I'm light screening in front of maybe two things. Not really worth it. Um, Moltres needs that weakness policy off to be able to work. The Remitis might be good, but I can't bother setting Trick Room in front of. Max Dramp is just not a good strategy here with it being um, Assault Vest. Um, I think I want Moltres in the back. Uh, 
Uh, that that was stupid of me. But I still think at that point, like I wasn't dropping its attack. I don't think there's much else I could have done in that situation. That late game maximum cell sealer was brutal. And I should have just gone for the max flare into it. Okay. Yep. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Um, I know this incineroar is what the item is on it. So I'm just going to brick break into the incineroar. Fake out into the incineroar. Let's Grimmsnarl set up its uh, screens. I'm sure he's not going to go for a fake out into the to the uh, Megris here. So where is the weakness plot CD if he's running it? Okay. Taunting me and shall. That's fine. He wanted to try and stop the coaching strat off the off the bat, which is fair. Yep, here comes the Reflect. I'm pretty sure Close Combat can KO for a Reflect. I might have been better to have doubled up there, but yeah, no, it's fine. That's annoying. Okay, we just go for damage on the Suicune then. Grimmsnarl should set a reflect here, I imagine. Or we could go for a Spirit Break actually into the Mian Shell to try and one shot. Oh, that's brilliant. Yep. Going for the snarl. Okay, so it breaks the sash on the end shell to get the KO, which is unfortunate for me. Oh, so that's where the weakness policy is, of course, on the Suicune. Spirit Break will KO me and shell. It's annoying that he's going to be able to just um, use Max. Uh, he's going to be able to uh, use Snarl here. 
Okay, so he does go for a tailwind, ready for the Celestia in the back. That's fine. Sweeping so goes down. Celestia comes in, and at this point is where I'm going to have to max Metagross and try and get some max Steel Spikes off, I think. It's not going to be easy. Especially after a special defense boost from uh... hmm, the room seats would have been better in the back here. Would have been able to set trick room up. Even Pikachu could have been better in the back here because at least I'd be able to outspeed Cell Stealer and nuzzle it, maybe. Depending on what speed. No, oh, wouldn't have been able to have outsped. I got a max Metagross. I know it's going to be taking a hit from this max Quake. Hit. Oh, max Steel Spike. Smart. Smart getting that defensive boost. Not going straight for the max Quake. Mm-hmm. Trampers Berserk activates but unless I can one shot this Cream Star, which I don't think I can because of Babby Berry. Shame Jumper goes down. I couldn't even protect that. Babby Berry activates. And this is where the, the Grim Snarl will set screens. And this cell seal is going to become unkillable. Yeah, Max Rockfall into the Moltres. How many more turns of his tailwind? One. I think with Moltres I've just got to go for a double protect. Nothing else I can really do. Because I don't outspeed it. I'm 
Ja. I need this electric terrain up as well. Oh, I'm never going to beat this Elsa Stealer. I'm plus two in defense, but not in attack. It's one plus in defense and one in attack. So we're going to be doing about the same amount of damage to each other. Only he's got a single target earthquake and I've got thunder punch on electric terrain. So we'll see which does more. Oh, stomping tantrum. So at least it's not earthquake. We've got a chance. I think Thunder Punch should win it. Unless it low rolls. <laughs> nope, there we go, Cell Steel is down. Oh, okay, so it wasn't a bad idea to get Metagross super bulky, but I can't max until the Cell Steel maxes. Gonna go for the same lead. I don't know about Moltres in the back. I felt like Pikachu might have been better. Or Remitis. Both Dramper and Remitis. Both of them in the back weren't great. I just don't know which one I should go for. Um. Jump is okay, can target some things. My only issue is that Aromatis ain't going to do anything here. I, other than maybe set Trick Room if he gets Tailwind up again. Dramper wasn't really doing much. Maybe. Hmm. Every game, I've, every game I've brought Dramper doesn't go well. I, I'm going to bring Pikachu because of that. That did. I think I fake out pressure on the back could be really good. And Moltres might be a better max option next to instead of Megros if that comes down to it. Okay, okay. So I think the taunt on Grimmsnarl really screwed up my Mian Shell that last game. I didn't expect that. But then that Incineroar could just go for a Flare Blitz turn 1 and that's annoying. However... Yeah, okay, so... Suicune. Okay, so Suicune can just straight up Tailwind here. But that's okay. Because what we do... Is go for a straight Steel Spike into the Grimmsnarl. And we're gonna get going up as quickly as we can. Um... I'm going to fake out the Grimmsnarl because otherwise I can't coach and I can't taunt. I don't think this KOs, but we'll see. He could just straight a Max Suicune. I mean, I know it's weakness policy. But that's fine. I just don't target the Suicune if it maxes with anything because until that weakness policy is broken, Suicune's doing nothing. That's fine, it's going for the Tailwind. All right, let's try and get this offensive pressure going. Pretty sure I do not KO the Metagross, the uh, Grimmsnarl here.
with Barry Barry. Oh, we go for a scold into the shell. So we are going for a double up, maybe? Yeah, it was going for a double up. It was going for a double up. Doesn't care. Clinched. So yeah, it was actually going to go for a double up into me and shell there. Um, honestly, I'm going to max knuckle the Grim Snell and go for a close combat. Wait, if it's going for a skull, I'm going to go for a close combat into the Suicune. I'm going to get an attack boost this way. Because he could just taunt here. That's not what I want. I think it's very possible he just taunt. It goes for taunt, as I thought. Super annoying. I'll just go for close combat into the Suicune, try and get as much damage as I can. Me and Shell probably goes down here. That's okay. I bring Pikachu in next. Yep. Pikachu in next. Incineroar could come out, so I can always fake that out, but most importantly, I can do some form of damage to the Suicune. Only issue is I'm not as bulky in this <sighs> South Sea is going to start doing big damage. Here's Incineroar. Let's get the electric terrain set. Um, do I go for the nozzle to stop that tailwind from setting? I think that could be very important. Just don't know what to do. Um, <sighs> I guess I can take it out, but I need to remove that incinerable because it's going to be doing damage to Metagross. Let's go for. Let's go for a nozzle. Yeah, it activates weakness policy, but you paralyze it, halving its speed. Uh, I knew this was going to happen! This is why I don't like, didn't want Lightning Rod on Pikachu. <sighs> For I knew I would forget about my own Lightning Rod. I've done it before. That's lost me the game, that. That and the fact that I've gone didn't go into the incinero. <sighs> Hooray. Let's... Stomp a tantrum was incinerable and vault switch into the Suicune. Should have let the tailwind go. Should should have just tailwind. Should have just let the tailwind go up. Target the incinerable with fake out and stomp it. Max quake. I 
I'm just not playing well. Oh, well, at least Micro's avoiding the attack of Heatwave. This is a special in Cinema. I mean, he wins here, hands down. <laughs> he hasn't even maxed yet. This is hilarious. Yeah, Shokabe, at least Shokabe will kill the following turn, but... I don't even know what speed this LC there is. I mean, well, what can I do here? Stomping Tantrum into the Incineroar. I mean, how many turns of Tailwind are left? Two. I can waste one out with a Protect, but... So, yeah. Um... Might as well go for Heatwave. There's no point in protecting. He pairs in two turns anyway. Hopefully he doesn't go for the Moltres because of their expecting to protect, but I don't think he does that. I think it's always safe to just go for the Moltres. I, I threw game one, not targeting that Cell Stealer. Not realising it was a physical Cell Stealer until too late. I know this team is disruptive, man, but. Yeah, Max Rock 4. Not really good. What can I do, though? Mega Race ain't gonna take this cell sealer in the end game. Did I miss a crew or something? Because of I did less damage than it did with the. Pikachu, your bad luck charm. Oh, that's a point. Just go for the stomp and tension to the incinerator at this point. <sighs> Maybe nuzzle. Habit speed, maybe some paralysis. Let's start thunder punching to try and boost some <laughs> the um, Pikachu to a point where you can maybe take on Cell Stealer. <laughs> ah, yeah, he, he outspeeds even Pikachu. Which is basically max speed. Yeah, this is game over. This doesn't even care, does it? No, of course not. That's fine. Yep, Tailwind petered out. Can't even protect. Assault Vest was useless on oh, Metagross. Other than maybe a few heat waves. Uh, let's just go for KD. Let's just get rid of this. This in a row. So, what have we learned from this? We have learned that you need to check for its attack what Celestial is running sooner. 
not realizing it was a physical attacker cost me a bit in game one. Not just going into the Cellar Sealer cost me in game one. And game three, um, Max Lightning next to my own Pikachu. Instead of going for Fake Out, Max Quake into the Incineroar. GG's. Stuff happens. We'll see you guys in playoffs as I take on the third seed and play the sixth seed, which I imagine will be the Cardiff Kamalas, so which is a rematch of week one. So see you then guys.